all right out here at the uh, beautiful scraggly lake if you can see it out here um, in northern Maine and I want to talk to you in this video about why American patriotism is important because I believe it is important and uh, first and foremost um, as a Christian you basically have two options while living on this earth uh, nationalism as far as uh, being a patriotic you know not overboard with it I'll talk about that in this video but I believe belong to such and such nation therefore I am an American I belong I'm living in America born and raised in America I'm an American um, you have that or you can just say I have no nation I'm a globalist well I don't believe in globalism I don't believe it's right to be a globalist I think that uh, nationalism is what we're supposed to be in heaven the Lord restores the different nations and so I believe that it's important to have national identity and um, it's definitely a debatable issue I realize that because you can go too far with the thing of nationalism um, some real steep stairs stairs to go up here some stone steps so I have to kind of be careful as you can see the stone steps down there um, but I realize you know that the scriptures teach certainly that there is a uh, we have no continuing city here um, we are strangers and pilgrims I understand the different verses but then you have Acts chapter 22 I believe it is where the Apostle Paul is about to be beaten and he says is it lawful to beat a man who is uncondemned I haven't had a proper trial and who's a Roman so Paul used his Roman citizenship and he actually says that he was free born whereas the guard says you know with great price I obtained my freedom Paul says I was free born so uh, what can we learn from that well what we can learn from that is that there are times and places when your citizenship in a particular nation can work to your favor and you just you don't go along and say well it doesn't matter you know I'm a Christian I'm not part of any nation eh, eh. Uh, you have to be careful of that um, oh, it's a, this is the steep part of the trail you can see down there oh, so sorry if I'm a little bit out of breath here but um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section because I know some people are passionate about it the thing of patriotism others are not others are just as passionate in the opposite direction but for new Christians that uh, you're not sure where to stand on a solid rock I recommend that see standing on a rock get it um, Jesus Christ is our God he is our King yes but what about loyalty to a nation well I'll answer that by saying this what was the blessing that God gave to the American people what was that blessing well in my opinion it was not prosperity a lot of people foolishly think that America has been very prosperous um, America has had false prosperity that has not been the blessing of God okay what do I mean well uh, God blesses you with wealth and wealth that is generated from God uh, wealth in America is generated by um, debt by false wealth again please understand that 
that uh, American wealth is one of the worst scams in all of history. And I don't say that as a disloyal American, I say it as a very ashamed American. It's, it's really a shame what the Federal Reserve has done to this nation. You know, and uh, back in the 19, I think 1981, I remember reading this recently, it took two years of income to pay off a house. In other words, if you didn't pay anything else, just all on the house, it would take you two years to pay off the house. Today, it takes seven and a half years. Um, heard an economist say the other day that the desire of every corporation is to uh, make people work for cheaper, make people work for less. Well, if so you have an employee that's making $20 an hour, you can't just go to that employee and say, okay, now I'm going to cut your uh, money in half. You're only going to make $10 an hour. You can't do that. But what if you were able to go to that employee and give them that same $20, but now that $20 has been devalued where it spends kind of like $10 an hour. See, ah, hmm. see how that works? Um, yeah, now you can actually have a situation where um, the people you're paying them less they're more enslaved with their debt, uh, but they're still thinking that they're wealthy and it's all just debt. And that's all I see. I mean, I see people coming up here, who coming up here with their, you know, $70,000 pickup trucks pulling a $10,000 trailer filled with $20,000 UTV. They're driving $100,000 worth of debt around thinking that they're doing well and thinking that God's blessing is upon them and it's not. Um, what has God's blessing been? Uh, freedom and liberty of conscience. That's what God's blessing on America has been. Allowing preachers like myself um, and a lot of preachers from the past that were far greater than me, the freedom to be able to preach and teach against whatever we want. Freedom to criticize Roman Catholicism and not be burned at the stake, not be tortured in some Catholic dungeon. Um, our Protestant faith, our Protestant system has been a real blessing. And uh, never forget that America is a Protestant nation. America is not a Catholic nation. Um, don't ever make the mistake of thinking that, that uh, our founding fathers had Catholic ideals in mind when they formed uh, freedom of religion um, as the very first amendment. They didn't. We have to be able to have the opportunity to protest. And I mean, there are Catholics that literally have to go along with the Pope, even though they disagree with the Pope. Uh, no, it's not supposed to be that way. So having to slow down my hiking here a little bit so I can be somewhat understandable. Um, so I'm not panting and breathing like crazy, but this is a steep part of the hill. Get away from the camera lens, mosquito. Stop. You're not authorized to be in the video. But uh, really like to know your thoughts on this whole thing. Should a Christian, um, where should their loyalty lie? Uh, should they be patriotic? Should they care about the nation and its laws? Should they be active in trying to make sure that just laws are passed and that wicked laws are struck down? Um, how much should we be involved in the political process? Do you just say, well, all governments, all kingdoms will come to an end. So if they're coming to an end, why bother fighting it? Or do you say, well, they'll all come to an end, but, uh, we need to fight against it and uh, preserve things as long as possible and stand up for our rights, our God-given rights. Uh, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. We are now to the very top, the end of the hike, and uh, it is worth it. I'll show you here in just a minute. 
Let me get down here. Luther, come. Oh. Okay. So, that's looking that way, obviously. And you go over this way, and you look out that way. So, let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts? Should we be patriotic and nationalist? Or just say, here we have no continuing city, it doesn't matter. Um, we can be not globalists per se, but uh, why bother fighting for a country that's, you know, destined to fall apart? Uh, let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.